tell me about your pitch. Shh. We need to start. Everybody else, take good notes. You need to summarize five students. Okay. I, uh, my paper basically is about uh, th that uh, currently there is a ban on um, gay blood earners and that they should like uh, lift the ban because I think it's ridiculous that there is a ban on gay people <laughs> who are donating blood because we need blood and like um, the main reason for this is because they think that gay people can can carry disease with them, which okay it can be true, but like I mean he heterosexual people can carry the same diseases because the diseases are not limited to only gay people. <laughs> that's fine. So that's your main claim, right? Okay. Now. Uh, oh, actually, my ba main claim is that the ban should be lifted. My, uh, the title, actually, is my main claim. That's fine. Shh. So her, her general claim is that, okay, do you understand this issue? So the question is, if you're gay, can you donate blood? Okay? In many countries, including Western countries, if you're gay, you cannot donate blood because of you know, concerns of things like you know, STD or AIDS, right? Uh, but Ra says this seems like, this, this, this is like discrimination, okay? So I guess my first question is like, again, if you're gonna link this to Korea, don't just say that I believe that South Korea probably also has this. No, band. I had like uh, So you need to. This is from the reading, like the. Which reading? With the picture of the two famous guys who got married. The, the, it's oh, the like Korean. The, no, it's yeah, a like time. It's from the time. Yeah, from the movie director, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then the uh, article. What did the article say? Uh, how Korea is still um, like sort of discriminating towards gay people, but like they're opening up more, and that it's because like people like this are coming out, and it's. Yeah, but did it? But did they talk about blood donation? No, but the thing is, there's no I link to Korea. Uh, to our uh, like the gay readings and blood donation because there's no data whatsoever about Korea and blood donation. Don't say that. But I don't know. I don't know what the you know. I don't know what is a Korean law on this. And so help me, help me. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you need to like maybe you know do you know do some research. You know one thing is that you can you know I think Wikipedia has like LGBT rights in South Korea, so you can see what are the laws banning or not banning. My impression is that South Korea doesn't have any laws. I, I, look, I looked it up and like it's, it, it, it's like basically like for every country it shows like if it's a ban or not and then with South Korea it says no, no data. That means there's no ban. Mm -hmm. Do you see? There's no laws, you know, there's no laws favoring or preventing gay people from donating. Okay? But do you think that's the case because like they haven't been like exposed to gay people that much yet so they probably think it won't happen as much as in like Western countries? Well, remember what did what did the, what did the article say? Ian Phillips. They argue that gay people is that a big issue in Korea historically? No, because why not? Because they're for the most part gay people are what? You know, what? Right. They don't talk to anybody. They're like closeted. They're invisible. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. So there's no political discussion on gays, and there's no laws about gays, okay? Until recently, now recently, uh, there's some like city governments like Seoul, they're trying to push for new human rights for gays, and you know, they pass some laws, but you know, it's, but, but new laws, no, right? Because they're getting a lot of Christian opposition, okay? So there's no ban. But there's also no, so it's kind of like it's kind of like invisible. There's nothing negative or positive. Yeah, but I'm wondering like if if there are like more gay expo, if there's more gay exposure in Korea, do you think that like Korea would implement this ban or not? I don't know. Ask them. Do okay. you? <laughs> do but but I don't see any I don't see any political movement. So if you talk to like the if you read about those Christian activists. Uh, they don't. They're not pushing for a ban on blood donation. They just don't want any like new legal protections, you know, for gay people, because they think that it's gonna be bad for Christians. Like we talked about those Christian bakers and photographers, right? You know, they just worry that you know something like that's gonna happen in Korea. So they don't care about if gay people wanna donate blood. It's like, why well, is your blood? <laughs> but they will right? probably just care if they get the blood, right? 
I don't know. I don't because because for one thing, like A's in Korea is very low, so I don't think that's a big issue. Anyway, the point is that I think your claim is very interesting. Okay, uh, but but just say that it's not a big issue in Korea yet. Oh. Okay, and then and then it's not a big issue, and it probably won't be a big issue for now. Unless, unless the rise, unless like unless the rate of A's and STD really goes up, then people will be, then you'll become a more, you know, then you become a more political issue. Okay, that sounds good. And also, you saw the one about you know quotation marks, right? Again, uh, do not do copy and paste. Okay. Did you, did you give me a sample? Right? No, because if you copy and paste, you automatically fail. Okay, so you know, <laughs> right. Right, but, 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 it, yeah, right, but, you know, every, of course, everybody knows that, right? If you copy and paste with a quotation mark, that, you know, the essay automatically fails, okay? That, I think that's fair, okay? So, final warning, okay? All right, okay, let me see now. Yeah, so, like, especially when you write long essays and the English is really good, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna think that you plagiarized. And like so far, every time I read a long essay and the English was really good, it was plagiarized. Okay? Because you know, I read your weekly essays, okay? So, you know, be careful, like I know so I kinda know your writing style. Okay? So I'm just saying like look, so I'm just saying like if I read something and it then this does not look like your writing style, then I'm gonna you know it's like it makes me suspicious. And and then so I don't wanna. So I'm not. I'm not saying that. Oh, this is a bad essay. I'm just saying in general, many students have a have a habit of doing copy and paste. So don't do that. I would rather have a smaller essay in your own words. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Okay. Sky, you want to talk about Tiger Moms? Okay. Okay. So what's your so what's your main claim? What are you talking about? Um, yes. So mm -hmm. basically, I talked about uh, tiger moms and it and its effects on children. Okay. So um, this was based on research between Asian Americans and European um, and Asian Europeans. Okay. So um, there are pros and cons when it comes to tiger moms, in my opinion, and also according to a study. Like for example, when uh, when um, someone has like a tiger mom in Asian American culture, the student or the child um, seems to be more uh, feeling more comfortable, feeling more like um, stimulated by their mom because they feel like yeah, the mom is like next besides them and like uh, just pushing them and stuff like that. But um, they also feel like they are more I interdependent uh, when it comes to their mom. But so my main claim is like. Um, yeah, so what's your main claim? Yeah, I just go to my claim. Is that your main claim? Mm -hmm. Child will become happier? Yeah, my claim is that a child will become happier in life if you put more emphasis on providing their perspective in life rather than making a decision for them. Okay. What if, <coughs> then, so if that's your main claim, what is your argument and evidence? Um, so what do you mean by providing their perspective in life? I mean like not just like have like dictatorship on their choices or their opinions, mm -hmm. but give them like more of a perspective on how to approach stuff instead of like just pushing them and like drilling them on how to do stuff. So what's an example? Like, were you, did your parents do that? No, for, yeah, for example, my parents are kind of like strict, but as I grow older now, they also like give me a bit more freedom. Mm -hmm. But if you look, for example, at, I don't know, like Bill Gates, or Steve Jobs, like they dropped out of, uh, out of school, out okay. of college. Okay. And look at them now, like they became visionaries. So that's what was also like, um, was described in my paper, like um, a lot of uh, critics, they think like Taika Mom is like not the perfect way of providing success for someone. Because they think that um, it's, it just inhibits like critical thinking for themselves mm -hmm. and okay they might become like a doctor or a lawyer or whatever but it also doesn't like um, you also don't see like a lot of people who can become visionaries by having like that's fine but again
again, like I think it's very <coughs> helpful to give like specific example, okay. and then and then tell me like you know you can talk about your personal example, right? Uh, Steve Jobs is a little bit Steve Jobs Bill is a little bit harder because they're like genius, right? And so try to think of examples that regular people can relate to, right? And so I think most of you guys have what Tiger Moth, right? They you know they push you to they send you to a lot of hagwan, they tell you to do math and you know like. Right? So, do you guys do you guys have any examples of parents who try to like give you like they give you more options, they give you like different perspectives? Anybody? Okay. So what's the next? Time? Okay. Any Korean? Okay. Oh, one Korean, two Korean. Okay. What kind of options do they give you? Okay. Ladies first. Um, instead of pressure, I uh, I have never heard that study from my mom or my dad. Th okay. Yeah, they when I was young, they just said uh, because they just said play, and I I could do what I want, and yeah. So there was no pressure, so I could have good relationship with my parents and family, and it made me be in a good good environment in my house. Yeah. That's fine. But that's a little bit different from his claim, which is that providing them perspective, okay? Did your parents give you like, did, it, did your parents give you kind of like different perspective? Uh, that you, maybe you can do this, maybe you can do that, but you can choose. I have a brother who's nine years older than me. Okay. Yeah, so my instead of my parents, my brother tried to give the perspectives. Mm. Yeah, so. I think it was the reason that my mom, mom and father did impressions. Okay. Yeah. So like you can examples like that. Okay. So anyway, so you should try to put your main claim first in the beginning of the essay, and then discuss, and then you know link to the reading, discuss. Okay. Uh, again, you know don't copy and paste. Okay. So you know this is all. The yeah, I know, but we talked about yeah, but we t yeah we talked about this before. Anyway, but. For this class, just put quotation mark. Okay, and again, try to do more your words, <coughs> less copy and paste. Okay, uh, so like you know what we just discussed, right? I think you know if you focus on that. Okay, and then also link to the class readings. Okay, so what do the people in you read? Did you read my article, Tiger Moms? Okay, so read that completely, and also maybe read Yoon. Yoon talked about ordinary youth, right? And so I think those articles might be kind of relevant to what you're trying to say, okay? And then, so who read Ordinary Youth by you? He talked about ordinary kids, potong and what? What? Bamjang? Bamseng? Oh, nerd. Bamseng and then nonun and That's easy, okay? And then think about like, you know, how does that link to like perspectives? Like, you know like the Bamseng and there? Do you think they have perspective in life or not really? Because they're just too focused on those academics? Okay. Do you see? So that can be a good link. That maybe some people, especially in Korea, they just focus on one thing. Okay? And then, because they're so focused on like good grades, maybe they kind of ignore human relationships or they ignore just the world around them. They have a very narrow vision. Okay? But how about the no no there? Do you think they have perspective? Or not really? Not yes or no? No? Okay. Koreans, when you think of no no nether, do you think positive or negative? Who says positive? Who says negative? Okay, now, internationals. When you think of like, you know, slackers, do you, do you think in positive or negative? Who says slackers are positive? Negative. Really? Wow, they're all like, you know, pomseng and there. Anyway, <laughs> but we kind of talked about this, right? Like in California, slackers kind of have a good reputation. It's kind of like, you know, like, it's like be going, kind of like going, walking to the beat of your own drum. Okay? And so, like, we used to call them like beatniks, you know? Beatniks or just drifters, okay? 
or rebel without a cause. Okay. Um, so I don't know because you know, like Steve Jobs, he dropped out of middle school, right? So in Korea, he might be considered like a no no net there, you know, because he dropped out and he just wanted to do things on his own. Okay. All right. Okay, that sounds good. Anything else? Okay, so work hard, read and write in your own words. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yay. Okay, moving on. Okay. Hook card. Come on up. Trans. Okay, he's gonna talk about trans transgender and transsexual. Why did you mention uh, put no? What? Why did you Why did you mention put no? It was a mistake. Oh, yes, he told him mistake. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so what's your? Psh uh, just some minor things, like you said, like same-sex marriage is a big debate all over the world. Probably just, you know, but not really in Africa or Asia, yeah, right? exactly. but many countries. Anyway, so what's your main claim? Yeah, so, yeah, I think so in general we talk a lot about uh, gay or lesbian people, but uh, transsexual people are in general misrepresented. For example, even in, okay, uh, even right in, yeah, even in some uh, mm -hmm. LGBT associations, they always just focus on gay and lesbian uh, goal. But for example, uh, transsexual has some uh, just specific problems. For example, sex segregated uh, waste room or with uh, identity document or there's some barrier uh, to health care. And um, yeah, I'm talking in, uh, in Korea, for example, they just during a long time, like uh, for gay and lesbian p community, it was very difficult for them. But during the 70s, 80s, they just emerged with the, some association. But uh, yeah, but uh, again, the currently the current society is very <coughs> conservative, maybe of, of about uh, transsexual and maybe uh, transsexual and transgender, because you know, like with Confucianism, uh, you know, the gender role is very strong, and you have uh, it's very difficult to translate, uh, not trans uh, can I say, uh, to break this uh, this uh, social role. And uh, yeah, then the government, the government begin a little bit to have some, to make some small policy and some small yeah, action against that. But for, in my opinion, it's not effective because yeah, if we if we want to change uh, this problem, uh, this problem, we need at the beginning to have like a bottom up uh, movement. Uh, we need to change this, have a change within the society you know, uh, at the beginning. So yeah, for example, we have the. The wise with some uh, yeah, major figure like uh, Alice, right, and uh, yeah, the Korean, Korean transsexual actress, and uh, the sponsoring of some Korean movie uh, by the Korean Film Association. So Jack knows some uh, yeah, within the media uh, about the, uh, about this topic. There are some uh, yes, uh, some uh, questions, for example. So yeah, for me, we need to change the society first. Yeah. That's fine. Anyway, so I read, so I sent the book cards as they to everybody. I give you more points if you tell me about actual policies. Okay. 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 And then you can, if you don't know, then just go to Wikipedia, and then Wikipedia talks about LGBT rights in Korea. Okay. And I think they do mention transgender rights. So the Supreme Court legalized transgender. Okay. Your right. To, so the Supreme Court legalized your right to be transgender. Okay. I mean to be transsexual. So it can change. Okay. And then so you can change your legal document. Yeah, but you said it was not very clear. Like, you said, uh, right on my side, that you said that uh, the Supreme open a public airing to make a guideline for lower courts. I know, so this is this is outdated. Okay, I'll, okay. Right. The Supreme Court opened a hearing, and then a, about a year or two oh, later, okay. they decided. Okay. Okay? Because it's 2014. <laughs> <laughs> Things change. Yeah. Okay? That's why if you're not sure, go to your trusted friend, Wikipedia. They're right maybe 80% of the time. <laughs> Okay, but not hundred percent. Okay, because sometimes Wikipedia they say one thing and then at the end they say something else contradictory. Yeah. So it's like comfort women, right? Like on, in the front they say all these women were kidnapped, and then later you and then later you say like there's no evidence that they were kidnapped because you have all these different contributors to Wikipedia. Do you see? And so you get all these conflicting claims, yeah. right? But at least for LGBT, there's more of a consensus on what actually happened because it's more recent. This just happened like a couple of years ago. So anyway, yeah, so yeah. So I gave you the link, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, LGBT rights in South Korea. So the Supreme Court, they did legalize transgender. Okay. Um, 
So they do. So South Korea. So transgender people in South Korea do have legal rights. So I guess an interesting question is like this kind of social pressure and discrimination. So are you arguing that transgender, transsexual have more social prejudice than regular gays? Uh, because that was one of your claims, right? Maybe in some cases, in some some cases. Yeah, because yeah, for example, even, uh, even if some gay people are need, uh, need to uh, find some social problem and some discrimination, you know, uh, I just talked about, you know, transsexual need to uh, find some specific, very specific problem, like, you know, sex seg segregated, uh, West right, Rome and right. stuff like that. Sure. You know? I think that he brings up an interesting issue, which is that gays and transsexual have kind of very different issues, because if you're gay, you can what? You can kind of hide who you are, right? But if you're trans, if you're transgender, what? It's very hard to. Yeah, it's very hard to hide because you know you dress in women's clothing, but what? Yeah, you're an, you know, you, you, you have male things, okay? <laughs> and so.
it wasn't just those things. It was like he was also like a girl. Like it was a girl. It wasn't a guy. It was sure. it was a girl. And then the parents noticed it too. And he was really lucky that his parents were not um, like uh, that. His parents were really understanding and stuff. He was really really lucky. But um, yeah, he basically he's a girl now. That's fine. But we need to move on. Do you have another? Question? He looks like a girl Sorry, too. Question. Actually, well, here's an interesting here's an interesting survey question, which is that. Let's say there's a transgender woman, okay? He was born man, but now he's woman, and he wants to use your bathroom right there. Okay or not okay? Do you understand my question? I'm asking, I'm gonna ask both internationals and Koreans, okay? I'm gonna ask both, okay? But imagine, okay, so imagine you have a transgender, you know, used to be man and now transgender woman, they want to use a girl's bathroom at Hanya, third floor. Okay? Who says yes, it's okay? Who says no? Oh, see? Very open. Now, <laughs> imagine they want to go to Moyoktang with you. Moyoktang. <laughs> Bathhouse. Okay? Okay? So, right. So, so you have these, let's say you have these transgender women, so they're physically male, but they see themselves as women, okay? Yes. Right, they have, yes, they have the male thing, okay? But, you know, the P word, right? Or the kiak. Is he what? Talking? I, I no, 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 no. What, what that, well, that's yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right, right. And the question is, would, and the question is, would you allow, would you allow him, or would you ban him? Okay. Anyway, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> shh, that's fine. We'll ask all that, okay? Okay. Who says that, you know, transgender women can only go to mix sauna? Mix. You can only go to mix, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's the claim, right? Right, technically. Transgender people will say it's, it's our choice whether to snip it or not. Okay? Yeah. But they still. F <laughs> but then they're. That's what they're. Not all transgender. Not all transgender women are physically female. Okay? So actually, probably most transgender women are still anatomically male. But they feel that they're female. That's why they're called transgender females. Okay? So my question is look, so if you see a transgender female and. And we call them a, the New York Times nowadays, they call them a she. They use a female pronoun for transgender females, okay? Uh, if they want to use the moyok female, moyok tang, would you allow them? Who says yes? One says yes. Okay, who says no? They cannot. Okay. <coughs> so in that case, they're very intolerant. Okay. You can call them hypocrite. <laughs> Right, gender identity. Right. 
I know, but that's. I know, but I, I'm just saying that I'm just saying that this is a political issue because the debate is changing. I think maybe Koreans, you know, you had this kind of traditional concept of what is male and female, right? So if you have, no, no, okay, now, but then now in many, what's what do you mean? It's a different point. In the by, we only can make, uh, we only can understand what what he looks like in biological way. But you can declare, okay? So, for example, like um, you heard of Wellesley College, right? Have you heard of Wellesley College in the uh, United States? You heard, you know what? You know women's college, right? Right. So these days, women's college, and then if you want to go to women's college, you have to be what? Women. Yes, biologically women. Okay. But now today, uh, in many women's colleges in America, you can be transgender women and go to women's college. Yeah, but they are not. They understand? are not attending the university in naked. Yeah. I know, but I'm just. But that's it, what I mean. But that's it's different. a, it's a question. But I'm just saying that's an example of institutional access. And my, and then, and then I'm giving you the question on Boyoktan because that's like the cutting edge. The question is. How much access, institutional access, are you willing to give to transgender females? Okay, are you saying that okay, maybe bathrooms okay, schools okay, but we're gonna divide, we're gonna cut the line at Moyoktown? Do you understand? Yeah. Or do you f feel that they should have full access? They can go where all women can go. Do you understand? Well, that's a counter argument that maybe they're maybe they're lying, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I think there's good arguments to be made on both sides. The only thing I'm gonna say, I'm just giving you the devil's app. I'm just playing the devil's advocate, right? I'm just giving you the strongest argument because I think in Korea, Moyoktang is a very important institution, right? You know, that's where you make friends. That's where business people go to hang out. Okay? Because it's, I think in the tradition is you drink and then you go to Moyoktang. Is that right or is it reverse? I don't know, sure, but right, okay. So you drink a lot, and then, uh, like, and then everybody just goes to Moyoktang, and then you all sleep together, okay? And because I saw this at Misang, right? You know, like bunch. Did you guys see that episode? They're like s selling, like anyway, they're selling like these. They're selling like socks and underwear at at the Moyoktang, okay? Because that's where all the businessmen go, and so. If you're transgender, then you want to be part of that institution to be included. If you cannot go to Moyoktang, that means you're going to be excluded from a very important social institution in Korea. I'm just saying, keep that in mind. Okay? He's prejudiced. Okay. <laughs> But don't you think that's really important for you know if you're if you're in company, Moyoktang Could I have someone there? Yeah. No. Oh. It's much more important in a drinking place. <laughs> drinking place is more important. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna invite him to my work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wanna say like I know this is a really hard, complex issue, but this whole question about, because I've talked to a lot of transgender people uh, in my, um, back home, um, in my school, and the question of, like, for many of them, like, this whole, like, biology thing, like, I know that for us that's very clear, like, what's biology female and biology male, but a lot of transgender people feel like, but I am biology, by uh, uh, women by Biology, yeah, yeah, biologically. I mean, I know it's hard to understand if you're not there yourself, 
Like, I can't understand it really. For me, I'm like, but there's two sides. But many transgender feel like that's not a val valid argument because they're like, but I am a biology, biological, <laughs> a, a woman. Because I just wanted to say that, that I think that's also a very hard definition thing. Like, for us, very easy definition. But I think if you're there, I think it's quite hard. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't want to say straight away to do a biology, but then I think if other people like to think of it, then you have to think of other people because they might not feel, they might see it as, like, like most of us do, we said that biology is like just that should be the fact that we're separate. They might see it as something that they might not be comfortable with. Right, so if I. So if I felt like I was really a woman inside, you go to work and let me. Yeah. <laughs> so she, Emily said, "Let's go to let's go tonight, girl." Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, moving on. Okay. I'm I'm just copying my friend. Okay. All right. Moving on. Okay. Head in. What's what are you? Come on up. You have something fun to say, like, like, like Wilt Town, or no? Okay, so, ooh, multicultural family. So, what's your main claim? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. My claim is that when we think about multicultural family problem in Korea, we often think that they have problem, but I said that uh, we both need to educate multicultural family, but also educate general Korean people to adopt them as Korean. Okay. Mm, wow. mm, through good education. <laughs> good education. <laughs> Anyways, also made some minor corrections. Multicultural family doesn't mean like Korean farmers and Southeast Asian girls. Okay? Uh, technically okay. it means what? But you said you're a global family. I don't know. That's the oh. common term, popular oh, okay. term. But the legal term is what? The legal term is, yeah, Korean and foreign spouse. So legally, I'm multicultural family. Okay? But in terms of popular discourse, many people associate multicultural family with low class. So that is a that is like the social that's like so that's a political problem. Okay? Okay. Now Yeah, you didn't give me any comment. Yes, I said what kind of education, example, inside okay. class meetings. Okay. Because don't just say, oh, we need to educate <laughs> people so people are tolerant. Duh, you know, you know, that's not a very interesting, okay? More interesting would be how. Give me your example, what kind of education. Okay. And if you're not sure, mm -hmm. you can link to the class meeting because many of you talk about those, uh, remember, what's your name? Miss Shen, you know, Parpiochana, remember? And then she she summarized Rainy Moon and she said that Korean textbooks have changed. They show these happy, you know, foreign, foreign workers and spouses, right? Is that the kind of education we need? Okay. Do you think that kind of education works? Does it make people more tolerant? Or no? all changes from the textbook but we have to change it and start from the textbook okay. I think so, we did, so you're saying that textbook is not enough what else not, do not enough we, we, we start from the textbook and to the society and the other other prejudgment pre I think Sony so give me specific examples, okay? So maybe you can say like Rainy Moon talks about you know, textbooks, and maybe that's a start, but that's not enough. And 
tell me what else do you need then? So if you can give me like, so if you give me one example from any moon, and then maybe one additional example, then I give you an A. Okay. Right. But if you just say like we need more education, then no. Okay. I'll just give you an A minus. That sounds good. Okay. Good to be had. Oh, you're saying multicultural family population is about 700 million. Is that right? <laughs> if you say that we have 700 million multicultural families in Korea, is that an A paper? No. Yes. That's like India. <laughs> I didn't know Korea is like the same size as India. Then it would be bigger than the United States. Woo, we can we can take over the United States. <laughs> And also, anytime you make a claim, explain. Give me an example. Don't just say Koreans need better education. Tell me what kind of education. Is it just textbooks, or is it kind of, or is it more like kind of like or is it more like practical education? Like remember we talked about the bridging dialogue on LGBT. Then maybe you know maybe an example like that. Maybe we can have a real multicultural family come to like classrooms, okay, and share their experience. That might be more useful than textbooks, do you see? Because, you know, I think, I think real lives are always more interesting. Because textbooks tend to be a lot of stereotypes, like that everybody's smiling, everybody's happy. How about Oh Won Jun? He doesn't look happy. You know, the murderer. Right. And so you need to bring, so maybe you need to bring real people to the classroom, and they can have real discussion. Mr. Young, who, who's Young? Not here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so no way for him. Alright. Yeah. Okay, Ms. Eun. Come on up. Okay, now you're preparing your claim from South Korea and Hong Kong, right? So what's your main claim? Well, 
Korean students, you experience well, you experience pre-university, right? You think it's better than Western or not so good? No. Not so good. Some, some, some areas uh, compared to some university. Okay. Yes. Some universities. Not whole. Not all the universities. Okay. Anyway, so do you see? Okay, now. Also, my other feedback to you was that um, you're saying like the most the most popular destination of Hong Kong students is Britain. Okay, I think that was interesting, but I give you more points if you explain to me why. Okay, why is why is Britain the most popular?
which is more fair. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. All right. Yeah. It's actually kind of happening now. You know, we have a lot of, uh, China's putting a lot of money for Confucian Institutes. So they're trying to buy up more U.S. dollars. So they're, they might give me money. Woohoo! <laughs> I can be bought by China. I'm so excited. <laughs>
That's fine, but anyway, uh, to, if you, to get more points for your paper, okay, because you know, part one is that multicultural policies are confusing, they include all these different groups, okay? So to get more points, one, link to the readings, link to Korea, okay? And then, and then, and then, so one, you know, your general claim, link to Korea, and then maybe number three, maybe make a specific claim how we should revise, okay? Like what you said, like maybe we should just make everybody, as long as they're citizens of Korea, they should all do this. But that's fine. And then tell me, what? As long as you give me an example, okay? So they should all do the same thing, such as like they should all join military service, and they should not get any special preferences for college admissions, okay? You know, link it to specific issues, and if you can find sources, even more points. Do you understand? So, yeah, so I think there's, you can actually get newspaper articles about, you know, military service for everybody in Korea or Israel, okay? And then if you just log into Ilbe, you get a lot of people, you know, you get a lot of people complaining about those special preferences, okay? Dr. Shin, yeah, you can quote Dr. Shin. <laughs> Did you read my paper, uh, Debating Multicultural Korea? Ian Jung? Yeah, so so from there you can quote, like, you know, you, so I know, because I'm not sure, because some people didn't read it all. If you read it all, then yeah, quote different people like Mr. Shin. Okay? Then that sounds good, right? Because Mr. Shin supports. Does he support special treatment for cultural or racial minorities? No, he thinks that there should be no special treatment. He thinks that if you're a citizen of Korea, you should all, you should, everybody should be treated the same. And if you're not a citizen of Korea, you should not get any extra benefits. You should either be the same or get less benefits than Korean citizens. That's Mr. Shen. Okay, so tell me if you agree or disagree. That sounds good.